My name is Jessica and I am the sailing specialist with Navionics. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your Navionics app on a new phone after you've switched phones. So you're going to download the Boating HD app or the Navionics app, also known as the Navionics app. We're going to open the app. It's going to prompt you to log in. You're going to need to log in just like you logged in on your previous phone. We're going, to we're going to log in with our, our Navionics login. Now, notice that your interests have not been saved, so you will need to re-enter your interests. And then if you go to Menu and Me, you'll notice that your boat settings have not been ported over, so you'll need to update your boat settings for auto routing to work correctly. Then you'll also... Uh, notice that your subscription is still is still available. So if you do not see your subscription activated, just click restore purchases. You'll also notice that your tracks are missing. There are no longer any tracks. So just be aware of that when you switch accounts. It does when when you switch phones, it does sh save your routes and markers, and it syncs it, but it does not save your tracks. Another thing that you'll want to do is go to your chart and notice that there's no chart downloaded right now. Everything is grayed out. We're going to download map and select the area that we'd like to download. We're going to use the corners to identify the area we want to download and then click download. Now it's going to download the area that we highlighted. Keep in mind that the larger the area, the more memory it's going to take on your phone. So these are some of the key things that you should be aware of when you switch phones and you download Navionics app that you've already had on another phone. Also keep in mind that if you go between iPhone and Android, the app is not the same app. So you'll need to get the app and the store of that's applicable to your new phone. Also remember that Navionics is having a trade-in rebate program through the end of the year that allows you to get a $50 to $75 rebate credit when you trade in an old chip and you purchase a new chip. Simply Google Navionics rebate.